Seems there's a little bit of droning on going on. Uh, g'day, I'm Ash. Hope you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome back to War Thunder. This time, Guardian Entertainment has put out a dev blog detailing the use of drones in what appears to be a trailer. Though we already know that from yesterday, and we already know that there is a Mirage 2000, or what looks to be Mirage 2000 in the distance. Furthermore, this is just the dev blog announcement for drones themselves in War Thunder. Now, this isn't exactly new. We have had them in-game before via two events. Uh, and I will tell you uh, some key pointers based on what uh, this dev blog announces. Also, some observations based upon that. So, this is only for rank 6 or 7. There are three types of drones. The Orion for USSR slash Russia. Uh, the Wing Long 1 for China. And the MQ-1 for USA and all the other game nations. These fall into two different types of categories. There are... Well, scout drones and attack slash strike drones, and it's unclear whether or not we'll be able to spawn strike drones as regular aircraft, or whether it will just be a callable in-vehicle item. As such, it, the devlog does state that you'll be able to reload scout drones and a reload a drone destroyed in battle at captured points, or should I say capture points, uh, and you can spawn in these while still alive, which also gives the feature probably to mimic the battleships, how they can, and, and heavy cruisers, how they can launch aircraft with the U key. And you can have the float planes available for scouting. I presume that's how the scout drone will work. Anyway, it should be noted that light tanks can get scout drones and all other tank types get the attack drones. It is a researchable modification. It probably will be a pretty high tier research modification, unfortunately. And it is unknown what the loadouts for the strike drones will be, other than they'll probably carry 80 GMs and some form of air-to-air -air missiles in some instances. Some of the writing in the dev blog is a bit sparse, saying that, you know, drones have been more common since the 2000s, and some of these will be available for, well, I guess, with the modification thermal imaging, which is a cause for concern. It is really unknown what in uh, the, the, the ATGMs will be, and whether or not they'll be able to carry air-to-air -air missiles as well. I did mention that. In theory, they should be pretty agile, uh, as aircraft tend to be, well, faster and obviously more of a target. So, very small targets, slower than helicopters and other aircraft types. But the drones will probably play like we have seen in previous April Fool's updates, where they're rather agile, fairly maneuverable, and can react quickly to a situation unfolding. Granted, there are different types of drones. There are scout drones which predominantly stay in the air and do recon. There are like light infantry scout drones which basically help uh, fire team commanders get a good look around. And then there are obviously the more interesting ones which are the strike drones. Now it's been also mentioned that it could be uh, used like the nuke feature. If you get enough points you can spawn in a strike drone. Although that is yet to be confirmed just yet. The dead block doesn't even mention that either. So it's really up to I guess speculation at this point what they will play like. And I'm very much looking forward to testing these in full depth when the dev server comes out as there's probably going to be a heap of information that isn't present yet that we don't exactly know. Now the scout drone featured in the dev blog, at least the first one, is an aeronautics orbiter UAV which is a reconnaissance UAV made by Israel with the aeronautics defense systems. Essentially it can do scouting, that's exactly what it does and it's been deployed in was very recently as 2020. Not going to talk about the wing long, even though it is quite interesting. This is the MQ-9. It's unknown which model we'll have in War Thunder. Essentially, it can carry up to 1,700 kilograms of payload. That's internal and external. It's got a power plant of a turboprop with 900 horsepower engine with a max range of about 1,900 kilometers or about 1,000 nautical miles at a maximum speed of about 260 kilometers. So you have that, and then it has up to seven hard points and... Uh, uh, AGM-144 Hellfire Ground Missiles or two GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bombs. You can also carry a bunch of other things and it has really good avionics. Now, I'm not sure what to think here. Drones are a decent addition, yes, but I don't know about strike drones. I'm unsure whether they'll actually impact performance or whether they'll utterly ruin the game. But hey, that's my thoughts. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to buy my decal, you know? Anyway. Link in the description.